So Robert Durst thought he had gotten away with murder until he admitted it in an HBO documentary. Emilio, what's going on with Durst? Maggie, it's actually a really creepy story in my opinion. And you know, the, the HBO documentary clip we're gonna take a look at today, super spooky stuff. I mean, it looks like it's something out of you know, like paranormal activity or right. something. It's very spooky. So here's some background information on it. Real estate heir Robert Durst was arrested last weekend on suspicion of the murder of Susan Berman after he seemed to confess to several killings in an HBO documentary episode released on Saturday. Durst made national headlines as a suspect in three deaths over the last 30 years, including his missing wife, her close friend, who's Berman, and his elderly neighbor. The suspicion heightened from controversial HBO documentary, The Jinx, which created current law enforcement scrutiny that's happening right now. Let's take a look at his sinister confession he made in the final episode of the documentary. I'm going to go use the restroom, which is right here. Or maybe this is the bathroom. Yeah, that's the You're all right. This is the bathroom. Yeah. Some really spooky stuff that HBO caught on audio there. The clip was caught off camera when Durst wore his microphone into the bathroom during an interview. Durst is headed to California to face the charge. He will not plead guilty. And fashion designers Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana are in the public eye after musician Elton John claimed he was boycotting the brand in an Instagram post. The designers recently made controversial remarks saying same-sex same couples should not raise children and condemning in vitro fertilization, calling those children synthetic. John seemed to take the duo's opinion personal as his children were created from IVF and took up the hashtag Boycott Dolce Gabbana. Gabbana issued a statement Monday saying, it was never our intention to judge other people's choices. We do believe in freedom and love. And the hottest new trend in the marketing world, the answer seems to be Tinder. This is pretty tricky and kind of heartbreaking. Tinder users at the XSSW Festival in Austin, Texas on Saturday came across a woman named Ava when using the dating app. The conversation would flow with questions from Ava like, have you ever been in love? And what makes you human? Sort of weird questions. Eventually, Ava would lead the users to her Instagram, which is actually an account promoting sci-fi film Ex Machina. So who is Ava? Well, it's actually actress Alicia Vikander who plays a robot in the movie. The whole scheme seems pretty brilliant. Talk about a new platform for advertising, right? And in the box office this weekend, Disney seems to be continuing on a roll with new live action film Cinderella topping the charts in its first week. The film starring British actors Lily James and Richard Madden raked in around $70.1 million over the weekend. This follows the box office lead of Disney's Into the Woods that was released last Christmas, which was also up for multiple Academy Awards. Disney will have more jewels to add to its crown, too, with more live-action adaptations of The Jungle Book, Beauty and the Beast, and Dumbo on the way. And while we're on the topic of all these awesome live-action remakes, let's toss it over to some of my favorite Disney ones from the past. My first favorite is definitely going to have to be 101 Dalmatians. Even though, you know, Cruella de Vil kind of creeped me out a little when I was a little kid, three-year-old Amelia definitely appreciated the real puppies. Next up is one that's a little more recent. The 2010 remake of Alice in Wonderland was so wacky and so unique. And of course, I'm a huge, huge fan of Tim Burton. Anything he does is going to be cool. Finally, Maleficent's success in the box office certainly proved that these live-action movies can be made with new twists and new faces and still maintain the magic we all adored as kids. That's about it for Pop News today. Back to Logan and Maggie at the desk.